Hey, my name is Daniel Sadaka. Now, we want to continue with our story line so that you can know where we're coming from and where we're heading. When you can just see us, you don't know that it has been a process and has been a journey. We want to have an eye opening and I want you to understand where you're coming from. Listen, Joseph is with us and Joseph is going to school and Joseph is, um, is doing the best in our home. We have accommodated Joseph. We had no idea that we needed more children. But when other children saw that Joseph is going to school now, and they saw that Joseph is, um, is very clean and is in part of the family, the children began to multiply. They began to come in, in our home. They want the life that Joseph is living. Many children begin to come in now. I, get, I found two girls. Again, they came in again four, and be, before you knew it, we had we had about twenty children in our sitting room, in our living room. Now, the the building, the the house was very small, that we cannot accommodate more children. It was a little bit hectic now because um, children are sleeping on the floor. We don't have much, and um, we need to make some changes here. And then then that one motivated us. To think on going to get to rent a home, to rent a house where they can begin staying, and um, they they can call it a place of their stay. So what came in our mind was, who is going to take care of these twenty children we have now, and who is going to help us wash their clothes? And we don't have machines like um, other parts of the world. We have to wash clothes with your own hands, and you have to clean a lot of things with your own hands. So, you know, this is a journey. Now, each child, when we are taking him in, we need to know medical status of each child. We need to do the blood testing, if they have HIV or not. Uh, and among the 20, we discovered that we have three that were infected with HIV already. And, um, and now we have to, to take care of them. We have some that had malaria, some have typhoid and some have a blood infection, some have wounds, uh, tetanus things, you know, wounds infection. So we, 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 we wanted a good care for them and we need to know, we've got some that had asthma, they have chest problem during cold season. So we had to take these 20 children and take good care of them. But now, the idea was, how we gonna handle this? We came in with the idea and we said, what we want, is get a widow women that don't have a place to stay. And if we can get two or three, we can give them, we can give them a place to stay. And they can help us wash these children, wash their clothing, and be their mama. They take care of them at night. Because these children needed a lot of care. When I went out to try to get some food for them. And this is the story. <laughs>